Let's, uh, let's think about or review what we did last week. And I, I, I gave you some homework, so let's think about that as well. Um, but just last week, we're talking about surfaces and constructing surfaces, two-dimensional uh, objects. And last week, the introduced the notion of connect sum. So we remember that we have we have a bunch of we knew that we had a bunch of surfaces. We had a we have a sphere. We knew we have a torus. We knew we had the climb bottle. We had the projector plane. So those are the surfaces that don't have boundary. We also have the Möbius strip that has boundary. Here's a cylinder. So cylinder has boundary. Those edges, edges. These are the surfaces that don't have edges. And the question is, from those surfaces, are those all the possible surfaces? Are those what? Are, are those all the possible surfaces, all the possible oh, no. two-dimensional objects without boundary? What, and how can we get more surfaces? By, con by connecting them. By the yeah. connection. So we have these building blocks, and we're, we're, if we want to know were there more, and the way we can construct more of them is by taking the connect sum of these. So this is what the purpose of the connect sum. So we have these building blocks. So using the connect sum, we can connect these together to build up bigger surfaces, for example. The connect sum of, let me write, let me write, I'm going to write, the sphere is S2, that might, that's a symbol. I'm going to write the torus, no, let me just call it big S. I'm going to call the torus T, let's call the climb bottle K, and the projective plane P, just so, just so when we're writing the connect sum it might be easier. So when I write S hash, uh, let's say S, this is going to mean the connect sum of a sphere and another sphere. Okay, so the, the solution is that it's a sphere. So pictorially, pictorially, you have one sphere, yes. You have another sphere. Okay, and let's review what we do when we connect some. So we've got the surface, the surface. We cut out a disk when we form the connect sum. We cut out a disk from the sphere. Okay, so it's now got a hole in it. And we do the same for this one. It's now got a hole in it. Okay, and then we connect. So now we've got two services with a circle in the boundary, two edges. And so what we do is we connect. Yes. So you just get one, remove a disk, disk from each. It's, it's step one. And then we connect the two circles. Okay, so we glue. Let me draw it. So we glue those two circles together, okay? So we connect the two. And there's Andre and, I'm sorry, what is your name? Maxime. Maxime. Uh, Andre pointed out this is also a sphere. Okay, so just, it's like a balloon, it's a funny shaped balloon. This is also a sphere. Okay, so the connect sum of the sphere of the sphere of the sphere. So that, that's a pictorial uh, demonstration, but for those of you who weren't here, let's, let's remi remind ourselves how to do the connect sum using a gluing diagrams. So the connect sum in terms of gluing diagram. And so now let's do this example, but instead of drawing a picture, in three-dimensional space, let's do a gluing diagram. Use a gluing diagram. So uh, we know one gluing diagram for the sphere it has two edges. This is a sphere. Remember that we fold it up like that. And let's do another. Take another sphere. Okay. And now let's do the. Let's form the connect sum of these things. So now remember that uh, to do this in a gluing diagram, a convenient way is when we cut when we cut out that disc. The first step is to cut out a disc. Is to cut out a disc uh, that takes out just one vertice. So we cut out this disc. We cut that out. Let's do the same here. 
Okay? And so that uh, gives us, let me draw the whole picture. Okay, so this is now a sphere minus a disk. Now this uh, resulting polygon has one, two, three sides. Oh, let me. We've got A, A, B, B. So what we've gone, we've gone through a, a, a Gouin dome with just two edges to a Gouin dome with three edges. Okay, so let's redraw it. We have our A, let's call this C, A, A, C, and then C, and then A. And here we've got B, B, and C. Uh, and, excuse me, let's call it C, D. Let me call it. So that's the first step, we remove the disc from each piece and in our gluon diagram we get a gluon diagram with two gluon diagrams with three, three sides. A in another oh. the direction. Yes, your, a, your, uh, your on the left is uh, triangle. A on the left triangle is facing the wrong direction. Ah, I see. A, C, A, C, A. Ah. Thank you. Great. Excellent. Okay, and so we cut those just and now we glue the the here if I call these in. We glue the the two which appear as uh, edges, red edges here. So we glue this red edge to this red edge. So so glue that to that. And what do we get? So what's, what's going to go here? Which direction is the arrow going to go here? One second. B. 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 Which, why this one? Right. right. And this one? Right. right. And also. Okay, so when we take an exam of uh, two, two spheres, we get this gluon diagram. So that's the same as. We just rotate it. Here, A. B. This is a sphere. Yes. And remember that one way to see that is that we're just gluing. So this is also a sphere. Okay, so it's going across this sphere. Connect some sphere. Okay, two spheres. Uh, we, we first, did, first it was cut a disc from each and then glue the boundary of that disc uh, on, each, on each surface together. And we end up with another sphere. So, okay. So glue and diagrams agree. We agree that uh, a sphere and a kink sum of a sphere is a is a sphere. Uh, last week, before before doing some more kink sums, last week I asked you, I gave you uh, that's something to think about for homework. I I asked you to enumerate all the possible surfaces or all the possible gluing diagrams with four sides. And what about the torus hash torus yes. and the project and plane hash project plane hash project plane? So just with, mm, so yeah. just initially ask, just all the surfaces with all the corner with four sides. Well, yes, but uh, you I think you also asked us to oh, write good? down what is good. the word for good. Uh, mm -hmm. connect some. Okay, so the first and mm -hmm. So so let's just. Last week's homework. One was how many gluon diagrams, how many uh, distinct gluon diagrams are there all sides and all uh, and and there should be no boundaries, so all uh, all uh, how can I say, all edges should be glued in pairs with so 
let me just explain what I mean by that. So for example, the torus, the torus, it has a coordinate with four sides, and when I say every edge is, uh, every, with, every edge, um, all the edges are going to pierce, it means that uh, I don't have any, I don't have any edge that isn't glued to another edge. So for example, this B, it must be glued with this B, this A is glued to this A. There's no, there's no side that isn't glued to some other side. Is that okay? So that, that's one, uh, one of these. How many, how many are there? Okay, let's, uh, right, so what do we know? We, we know we've got the torus. Torus. Uh, what, is, what is the word for the torus? Do you remember what a word for a glowing diagram is? A, B. A, B. Minus A, minus B. That's right. Let's say inverse. Okay, inverse. A, B. Inverse, A, inverse, B. Okay. What about, what about the climb bottle? So climb bottle, A, A, B. Inverse, A, B. If we think about these words, maybe maybe you can think about maybe this will help you decide how many there are. If we just look at uh, ignoring drawing them for a moment, let's just look at words where we've got four letters and we've got two A's appearing and two B's appearing. What are the possible combinations? Up to up to ordering. So a, so so far we've got A B A B. A, B, A, B. Does anyone want to suggest another one for me? A, B, verse, A, verse, B. A, B, verse, A, verse, B. No, it's the same as the first one. Um, so why, why is it the same as the first Because one? you can replace B and inverse B. I mean, uh, in, instead of each in verse B, you can write B, and instead of each B, you can write in verse B, and then it will be the same. Mm -hmm. so, 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 no, Nikolai, let me, let me uh, make it a bit clearer, is what Nikolai is saying. I am trying to say. So I'll write this as C, C, D, uh, C bar, D. So I just replace that. And now I compare these two together. You take A to be C. And inverse and, B to B T. And B to B inverse D, exactly. It's the same as A, B. No, but actually you, uh, you have an extra, uh, well, the first B uh, shouldn't be inverse. It should be, no, 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 on the uh, right bottom corner, yes. X, where uh, B is okay. So that's, that's not you. A, B inverse, A, B inverse. A, B inverse, A, B inverse. B inverse. Okay, let's try drawing it to see if we So so far we've got the climb, uh, torus, climb model. That would be a project for you. Sphere, but connected to the sphere, but 
exactly the same. By, by reordering by, by re or relabeling, can we say that this is the same as one of these, or is it a unique new word? Well, mm -hmm. what might help is firstly, notice that all the other words start with A. Start with A. So when we're comparing them, it might be useful if they all start with A. Yes. Yes. So have no. So how can we make this word start with A? Well, A inverse A, B, B. I, I'd, like, I'd like to write this as a word with split starting with A, because all the other ones do. And so if we compare them, it might be yes. a, the, the next one will be inverse A. A, B, B, A inverse. A, A inverse, B, A inverse, B. I just cycle. Okay, so now when, I, when we run like this, can we see it's this one of these, or is it, is it new? Well, but you know, you said that the A inverse A is actually a 1. So, well, I mean, uh, A inverse A uh, BB is the same as just BB. And that's a well, that's projective plane, I'm sorry. My question is, is it, can we turn this word ah, into one of these other words? It's a projective plane, yes. Uh, no, 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 said, no. Yes, it is. Yes, yes you're right. Well, because well, actually, you've told us that uh, a inverse a is the same as one. Well, so that doesn't. You, that doesn't. A, 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 let's ignore that because it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, oh. it has a it has a meaning that we'll talk about in a second. But uh, well, it it does mean that you're connecting some of the sphere. But we'll look at that. Um, but my question simply is: Is this word? Can we turn this word into these one of these words? By relabeling, cycling, okay. So that's that, okay. And the second question then is, what surface is it? And that was what you it's guys were It's a projective plane. And, and can you prove that to us why it's a projective plane? Please. Yes, he's right. So this project. So, so, and just an intermediate step. Intermediate step is. So this is. So when we say. So Andre, when you're saying this is one, it's it's a recognizing. That, let's just. I'll, I'll draw that. I'll just give an intermediate step. So we've got this. Remember, we mentioned this last week. Is that whenever we have. Whenever we have. Uh, this is A inverse A. A inverse A. Uh, a. A inverse A is the same as nothing. Yes. Right, so, so, right, so, we can, we, we saw this in, uh, so the idea is that we can yes. erase this, we can erase this, uh, these pair of edges, so let's, let's see why that is. So what we do is, uh, what we're going to do is push that push that corner inside, okay? Let me draw it red. Okay, so I'm just going to take these these two edges. I'm just going to poke it down. Okay, see that? And this is going this way. And this is going this way. Okay, and then we can see that when we glue the A's together, we seal those up. Squeeze that down, and you get this base. Okay, so the remnant of that edge is this dotted line. We have a glue dog with just, just two, just two uh, vertices because these get squeezed together. Squeeze together, and so we have just the, uh, the so that is what Maxim drew over here. Okay, so this is projective plane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are there any other words? A inverse A is the same as nothing, and we can call A B inverse as C, and we will have C C, and this is equal to the B yes. So there's the same. Uh, well, he means to say that uh, we can uh, n 
that that a word for a projective plane is uh, uh, C C actually well or A A it doesn't matter and uh, the word for the uh, well and that word is actually the same as B B so it's a projective plane because it has well. My question is, are there any other words with four letters? With two letters of each letter appearing, with two, two different letters in each letter appearing twice. Are there any more words? No. What about... What about the... What about the other diagram for the Klein bottle we know? Remember this? Remember we saw it's a Klein bottle? Yeah. Yes. Two projective planes put together. So what word does this have? A, A, B, B. Do we have a second one? Yeah. So here we got one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. Six. No. Is there any more? Only four. I'm not sure what you mean by only four. This, is this the same as any of these? No. It's certainly not the same as these. It is no, as it isn't. A, B, A, and what else would be the same? A, B, A, and this word? Could you show us why this word is the same as this word? Yeah. Oh, you mean to say that uh, these words are different even though the, uh, the, sh the shape is the same? Yes. Oh, yeah. So I'm asking there are obviously there are more. Oh, so there obviously are more. How many more? Uh, are we sure there are lots? Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll leave it as a, a homework activity, a further homework activity. Are there any more than what we've got? Okay, now that we, we understand the distinction. Okay, so and I'm going to you, well, I'm going to, you can you can reduce that number. I think we only need, yeah, we only need one or two more.